Oh my god, this looks so bad on the camera. Hang on, this is... Why does this look so gross? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Ew. Ew! Guys, we have a really bad video today. Obviously, we're already having trouble and we barely even started. I'm leaving this in the video. You guys need to know how painful this can be. What if I put white paper underneath it? Like that. Wait, hang on, I get another piece. If I do like that, and then like that. How's that look? Is that better? <laughs> Let's just do it. So I was on Amazon the other day looking for, um, what was I buying? I think I was buying like these hanging net hammocks for like plushies. And then as I was shopping, I'm like, I'm gonna look for some art supplies. What kind of art supplies does Amazon have? I found these dual tip brush pens on Amazon for five freaking dollars. As a matter of fact, I could have bought the 12 for four dollars or for an extra dollar, I could double my money and get double colors. And I did. These are nameless, brandless, premium quality dual tip brush pens and we're gonna see if they suck or not guys take this with a massive grain of salt that these things from Amazon are generally made in China they have no brand to tie to them another truth about these is that oftentimes the exact same markers will be resold and repackaged as different brands so this just may be just the off the off the conveyor belt markers that you can easily buy at an art supply store under their name but it's actually the exact same markers we're getting woke today on this channel guys so I got 24 dual tip brush pens. They are water-based. So which means we can probably take a water brush to them and may turn them into watercolors. But the real purpose behind this video is I get a lot of people asking me, hey, what's what are some affordable art supplies? I have a I have an eight-year-old who likes to do art. And I'm looking over like at my Copics and all my paints and stuff. I'm like, uh, Crayola? But the fact is, these might be great for a kid. Let's go swatch these and see what they look like. We got a nice little plastic, uh, oh, we had a nice plastic kind of carrying case for them, but now they're all ruined, so, uh, okay. So this is what the actual pen looks like. It is extremely lightweight. It's lighter than a Crayola. Like, I feel like I could snap it in half. Ugh! They, uh, they say dual pen. That's it. That, that's all they say is just dual pen. There's no brand. There's no color. And you have right here... A brush tip we have right here a bullet tip which is pretty standard I have here a watercolor book which is kind of fun I got these some Arteza I actually have a lot of these now story on that later now they don't have names so we're gonna have to think up names on the fly I call this one rage inducing red it doesn't really look like red kind of looks like Ew. It's super transparent. I'm not too sure if I like this. Next up we have Teeny Bopper Pink. Actually no, it's more of a bubblegum pink. This is Teeny Bopper Pink. Oh god. God. Hang on. Let me show you. Look at this brush. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Look at it. Bleh. 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 Oh my god. You guys ever hear about Artist Loft? <laughs> That's exactly what Artist Loft does. I haven't had the opportunity to try Artist Loft yet, but someday. Overcooked Shrimp Orange. Peaches and Cream with too much cream. Bright as my soul yellow, because my soul is very bright. Mountain Dew. Oh my god, it's a highlighter. What the heck? Hang on. This, I, th I oh my god, look at this. They gave us a highlighter. You guys see that, right? On the, yeah, you totally see that. That's a freaking highlighter. This is going to be Mountain Dew real Mountain Dew. I just noticed something that's really funny about this. All right, there's no way you guys are gonna see this. There's no, you know what, hang on, let me see if my phone can pick it up. Do you guys see what's hidden under the black? What is tan me? Wow, hmm. Get some sleuthing to do after this. This is putrid green. This is highlighter green. We got another highlighter. Okay, I kinda like that color. That's a nice color. That might be the best pen so far. Um. Blue, peacock green, Prismacolor. This brush is falling apart already. Um, raspberry. That looks almost this. Why is this pen sticky? Ew! What the heck? Whatever black, uh, whatever black label they were covering up the original label with is starting to peel, and I'm starting to see what it used to be. I'm gonna call that um, C 
secret sauce. Burnt Umber Instagram filter. That's a green. I don't know why it was with the browns, but it's a green. That is Crocodile. Steel Cut Gray, Translucent Black. There we go, guys. All 24 awful colors. I don't like it already. I think they look terrible. The, um, I mean, some of them are okay. Like, if I were to hide, like, certain colors, it would be okay. But some of them just don't look right. And this is watercolor paper, so it should activate. Um... I mean, I guess. Did they dry? Is that why it's not working? Or are they just that not pigmented? I can't believe the highlighter is kind of dissolving. That's funny. All right, they weren't so bad once I let the water kind of soak in on them a bit and dissolve the pigment. But I'm not happy about it still. I'm still not getting a lot of color. So I guess the real question is, was this worth $5 and can I do anything with it? Um, I think $5 was too much. So I'm just gonna put this in perspective for you guys. In case you're not familiar, this is a Tombow ABT water-based brush pen, just like what these are, except this is a Tombow in which are extremely high quality. These are like the standard. Let me, uh, let me do a little bit on the side so you guys can see. You see how much darker that is? One drop of water. Look at that color. This is what you get when you spend more money on art supplies. You get a much, 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 much better product. You know, if you have a kid, I guess this would be worth it. Or if you're bored and you only have five dollars and you want to have some fun, then maybe it's worth it too. I don't know. Now we're going to go draw some art with these stupid pens and let's see if we can get anything to happen. I will see you guys once this is dry and once I handle this, uh, this work phone text message that keeps person keeps texting me because I'm actually working right now, except I just want to do something fun while I'm working. Okay, let's go do it. Wow, it's hard to believe that this footage is over three months old. As of doing this voiceover, it is now July 4th. Happy Independence Day, by the way. Da, 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 da. I've been looking forward to putting this video out for so long. So long, in fact, that I didn't do it until today, which is sad. It's sad because now I'm looking at it and it looks awful. That's a lesson I'm learning. Get your footage out while it's fresh or it'll go stale. So let's talk about the art a little bit. I'm just going to preface this with this. I am currently sitting on two more packages of brush pens and I can't wait to use them. One of them is Amazon Basics. The other one is a hoo hoo that Great sent me. Thanks Great, appreciate it. So I'm going to get this video out now while I still can. I was not going to dedicate too much time to making a nice drawing. I already knew these markers were crap. So crappy markers get crappy drawings, and I decided to just draw three little dragons on this uh, watercolor paper. By T oh, I hit my bowl. I can't cut that out. Ugh. So I'm using this watercolor paper by Arteza. It's okay. I really don't like it too much, but again, I didn't want to dedicate myself to like a full drawing and then find out the markers are awful and, you know, waste my time. I had some friends coming over to our house, I think that night, the same day I did this art. And they had two kids, and I gifted these markers to the two kids. Just in case you guys think I like threw these in the trash, I did not. I gave them to the kids. They loved them. I finished the sketch, and I just went through it real quick with a brush pen, a waterproof brush pen. Nothing fancy. Again, like I said, I did not want to make this too pretty because these pens were absolutely god-awful. I'm trying to remember. It's been three months since I've done this. This is why it's important to get your stuff out early, because I honestly... I, I kind of don't remember what I thought of it. Watching the footage, they actually didn't look so bad, but I remember I had a hard time. I think I had more trouble with figuring out what to draw and <laughs> what to do line art with than I did coloring it. Or maybe that's a lie. Oh man, I, I don't remember. This might be one of the worst voiceovers I've ever done, guys, but hey, that's, that's why you subscribe to this channel, right? You subscribe for the quality YouTube content. Unedited, unscripted. Maybe I should start scripting these things now that I think about it. Or maybe I should just start doing the videos as I record them. Line art's done. It's time to go ruin it with those pens. I don't have a lot of experience using brush pens. I still don't, to be honest with you. But to my understanding, you just use them like markers and then you just take the water to them and make them dissolve and then kind of brush them around like some watercolor paint. And I've seen plenty of, uh, reels on Instagram 
of people using those Tombow pens to kind of know what I'm doing. You guys also do not subscribe to this channel for professional art tips. If you do, you are in the wrong place. Oh my god. I ended up only choosing a set few colors that I thought were decent. Those 24 colors, half of them sucked. They were gross and muddy and nasty looking. So I picked, uh, I think I picked 12 that I thought looked nice and I ended up only using maybe six of them. I stuck with the blues because for some reason the blues look pretty good. I liked them. And honestly, at this point, I thought it looked pretty cool. Like they were actually blending okay. They were pigmented. They were bright, bold, and kind of fun to use. But here's the problem is that after, you know, not even five, ten minutes of using the pen, it started to uh, suffer some integrity issues. I noticed that the pigment was getting kind of light. I noticed that the brush tip was starting to fray. And that's it. That's what you get. You know, 24 pens for what, five bucks is... Hey Google, what's, what's four dollars divided by 24? The answer is approximately 0 0.167 United States dollars. Wow, 17 cents a marker, guys. That That's the quality that we have here is a 17 cent. <laughs> I just asked Google that. Oh, it's so funny. Nick, I'm sorry. I know you don't watch these videos, but if you do, I'm sorry. So 17 cents. This is what 17 cents gets you. Not good. Not good. But I was committed to keep going, and I was a little rushed. Uh, like I said, I had those friends coming over that night, and I wanted to give them these pens so their kids could have them. And to be honest, the kids loved them. When I gave it to them, I think they are, uh, gosh, how old are they? Um, I think one is 12 going on 13, and the other one is nine, I think. They loved them. They said, oh my God, there's so many colors. And they had coloring books and they were able to use them. And it was, it was awesome. That makes me happy. You know, these things did not go in the landfill, which is what I was afraid of. I decided to use the highlighter green for the hair because I thought it was the coolest looking color that kind of matched the teal because none of these colors in the set work well together. There was no rhyme or reason to any of these colors. And a bit of a spoiler for you guys, I swatched out the Ohuhu ones that Great sent me and the colors are not that different from these. It makes me think that there's a factory somewhere overseas that just has these super cheap pigment kind of recipes and they just mass produce them into these crappy markers and they all look the same. The next time I do a video like this, hopefully we have a little bit more to work with. Cheap art supplies, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I think they really are all like the same company, the same factory making the same crap. And here we are again with that crappy brush pen. Oh, I cannot wait to do the Artist Loft video, guys. I know if you're not familiar with Artist Loft, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Their markers look like that with the brush pen that looks like crap. And they charge copic prices for their markers, Michaels. What an awful store. Why would you do that? I just don't feel like spending the money on a meme video right now, but maybe later. Maybe once the once the channel picks up some traction, I'll go back and uh, I'll buy the meme stuff. It'll be a funny video, and maybe. Or maybe I'll just break my heart, I don't know. <laughs> so for the next video I do with brush pens, I'm definitely gonna do a bigger piece. I have real watercolor paper now. I mean, I did at the time too, but again, like I said, I wasn't very committed to this. This was kind of a joke video, to be honest with you, it ended up being a meme on Discord and everyone liked it, so I'm, I'm kind of stuck with it now. But I think for the other ones, I'll at least give it a chance to be good with actual watercolor paper and actual drawings and actual line art. This was just kind of stupid. I just wanted to have fun with it. I went back through later with the pens now that the water was dry and I tried to add some shading because I noticed that after it dried, it got kind of flat. And I really don't think you guys can see it because I was still using my camera at the time. My new videos I'm recording with my phone, which looks so much nicer and I kind of make, I'm kind of mad about that still. The colors dried really blotchy and they had these weird rings around them. And I couldn't do anything about it. If I tried to put water to it to try to blend it some more, it just lifted the color. You'll see that in a second. I don't remember what happened. I, I think I was doing the purple shading and I think it went on to dark. 
and I didn't like it and I put water on it and I think see guys again oh why did I wait three months to do this voiceover I don't remember what happened it's been so long I'm just as new to this video as you guys are I should just cheer my past self on you can do it oh yeah there it is okay so I'm taking I'm trying to blend out that color and it's just lifting the color and Ugh, messy, messy, messy. I was committed to finishing the drawing, though. I was committed to doing the video. $5 investment. This is $5, guys. You get this for $5. Oh, and I did mention earlier in the video, I had a lot of these watercolor books, and there is a story behind that. The long story short is that um, I ordered them, and uh, it was a three-pack, and they never came. And I... Let Arteza know that, hey, my watercolor paper uh, shipped separate and it never came. So they sent me another one. And I got both of them <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know what happens. And I had six books. I, I sent some of some friends and all that. And I really don't like them. I don't recommend them to you guys, by the way. If you guys are looking for watercolor paper, I do not recommend the Arteza watercolor books. They're not that good. As a final touch, I tried to add some blue to like a palette to make a nice pretty blue background. And as you can see, that didn't really work. It was so light and this ink is terrible. And this pigment is so reactive to water that just by adding water to the background and being super duper careful, the water leached into the dried color it started making it smear and smudge, and I, I'm done with this stupid art, man. This is a $5! $5! You'll see, I'm going to point this out to you. Here's the finished version. Here's the finished version. Here's where the water bled into the purple. It made it really dark for some reason. I, I don't really understand. And here's where it bled into the green. And as you can see, it just, it just ruined the entire piece. I couldn't believe it, like, just adding a background could ruin it like I've, I've done watercolors before and it doesn't do that but these did that which you know what i keep going back to it five dollar art supplies what do you expect i am genuinely not surprised i had a lot of fun doing it and i can't wait to do the next one if you guys like these art videos and you want to see more challenges and me suffering through more cheap art supplies make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it and i will see you guys on the next art video